Hey guys, so welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami. Let's carry on where we left off. We are blazing through the story, as evidenced by the mounting number of bodies that are starting to turn up, with Reina and Shinji both suffering a tragic fate in the previous episode. So I thought, you know what, let's take our foot off the pedal. Let's work on our Majiba Everywhere ranking. Let's work on our Kamaki training and maybe a substory or two. And it looks like we may get a head start on Majima. Someone or something is in this car. Oh, uh, what do you know? Were you doing that docidly dance in the boot while you were at it? Okay. Well, just your typical Majima fight. Excellent. Oh my god, it's these guys again. Oh. From one... From one event to the next. Well, hello there! Oh, we didn't actually get into a bump this time? Hmm? Oh, it's you guys. You're not still scamming people with that whole bumping thing anymore, right? I'm pretty sure I've fixed every bone in your body by beating you to a pulp each time. No, sorry. Uh, we're totally reformed. For real. These days, we're at a power walking. That's, uh, that's good to know as long as you're not power walking into people. Power walking. That's right. Walking has some pretty great health benefits. Yeah, again, as long as you're not walking into any Yakuza. Hey man, you want to walk with us for a bit? We'd love to have you along. <laughs> yeah, feels great to be out and about, stretching your legs. Scary faced former thug. <laughs> feels like I beat the crap out of these thugs like an hour ago. Now they want me to walk with them? Should I? Sure, let's walk. Why the hell not? I could use some new friends. You know what? Okay. I'll walk with you guys. <laughs> Alright. The tough guy's gonna walk with us. What are you glaring at? As long as we're not gonna walk into an alleyway or something. Oh, we're going to West Park? Look at us. Oi. So, where are we walking to? Actually, this looks like the hotel district. Damn it! Guys, I don't do well at the hotel district, okay? You'll find out soon. Yeah, just into this alleyway right here with that uh, conspicuous pole lying on the floor that we're probably going to use to stretch our arms. Into this alley, jackass. I knew it. I fucking knew it. You guys are too predictable. You just had, you just thought you could change the battleground and you would win? So too slow. He's already disappointed. Like, he already knows. He's like, well, we already screwed up the first punch. There's no way this is going to end well for us. Oh, really? Not exactly the friendliest of places. Did you guys really go to the trouble of planning this all out? Did you try to use your heads? Maybe you shouldn't have tried to muscle your way into our turf, asshole. This time you're dead. Hey, you're the one who invited me to go on this walk. Every time we run in your ass, you beat the shit out of us. I actually just got out of the hospital, you bastard. And I kind of missed the hospital food, so please beat me up again. I can't believe it. You guys haven't learned anything. Shut the hell up. You broke our bones and then you broke our pride. Revenge is all we've got left. Oh, I'll break your head in a second. So revenge is what we're gonna get. And we'll take our money back while we're at it. Okay. <sighs> Again, I'm still grieving my friend, so this is a cathartic release. Okay, how'd that all feel? No way. We planned it out and everything, but... He's just too strong, it doesn't matter how much we actually put any strategic thought into this. So this was the best you could do. Just attack me in an alleyway. You didn't even put me in the alleyway, we're fighting on the street. Huh? If you still haven't learned your lesson, I can make sure you guys never walk again. How's that sound? You'll be power wheeling in your wheelchairs. N no need, we'll walk right on out of the city. Promise. C come on guys, apologize to the gentleman. God, love to hear it. We're sorry. All the thugs. Ooh, they're lucky they're hobbling out of here. And here I was thinking those obnoxious thugs might have turned around. Hope they're done with these stupid stunts. The walking was kind of nice, though. Maybe I should take the long way every once in a while. <laughs> Only if we unlock the unlimited sprint, Kiryu. How about that? Okay, 299 experience points. Let's spin those and... See what else the city has to offer us. Okay, a lot of grinding at the Colosseum just to make it to what, rank C? So many fights, and yet so little progress is made. I have brought you a bunch of images, actually. Here's hoping we actually fight, face off against Majima once or twice. This isn't something you'd actually experience in training. 
evading and striking. Yes, that does sound like uh, fundamentals of any sort of hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's unusual for you. Am I going to stand under a waterfall? Hmm? You plan to be a monk in the mountains? Nothing of the sort. You're going to dodge the bullets I shoot at you. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, do we really need to bring a shotgun into this? Hey, you're not actually packing heat, are you? <laughs> Worry not. It is equipped with rubber bullets, just as before. But this time you cannot be hit, and must dodge every shot. Uh. Got it. Are you ready? Your training will be complete when you dodge all the bullets in the allotted time. So just do it, okay? Well, I worry for your arms, Kamaki. I hope they don't blow off with each pull of the trigger. Alright. Evade a couple of shotgun rubber bullets. What could possibly go wrong? Evade all of the blasts Kamaki fires from his gun until the time limit runs out. Don't worry, the rubber bullets. It'll be fine. <laughs> Ow! My shoulder! Son of a bitch! Oh, sorry, no, I meant my stomach. <laughs> Your inner beast still slumbers. The dragon will not awaken from my training alone, so you mustn't rush to refine the rest of your moves. I'll be waiting for you, young brawler. Okay, what? <laughs> I see. Hmm? Uh. Never mind, we're not going to do any quick stepping. We're just going to run around the yard until he misses. Or maybe I just keep running towards him, then he won't shoot me. Okay, there we are. <laughs> Let's just run around in circles. Good YouTube content, Wack. Are you kidding me? What the hell? That's. What? No, that wasn't a bullet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> what is this shit, Kamaki? I cannot believe I'm struggling with the stupid trading, my god. It reminds me of, um, in Yakuza 0 when we had that, uh, Punch-Out artist helping us out. And, uh, <laughs> we were trying to survive the minute without someone actually shooting us. Don't you dare hit me at the last second, Kamaki. Don't you dare. Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, shit, that went right between my legs! Watch where you shoot those rubber bullets there, Kabaki. Goodness me. You're gonna hit me in my Yakuza jewels. Prodigious. I shall uh, teach you the Kabaki evade and strike. Once again, this would have been a lot more helpful before you started shooting me. Evade and strike? Ford. I never thought of that. Aye. Evade your enemy's attack, then strike with a counter. You may already know how to use a similar skill, but our style's version of the move is distinctly more powerful. Really? The damage it does to enemies' vitals is on another level. You shall see it when you use the move in actual combat. Uh. Uh, got it. Okay. I'll see how it looks when I get into a fight. The next thing I need is the image of Dharma, which is a prize at the arena. Bring it here! Already ahead of you, my friend. Alright, well, how's our next lesson looking? Who's this guy? Kiryu, I'm going to have you fight this man. Alright. He's a large man. Mm. Who is he? He's trying to debut in Purgatory's Coliseum soon. His name is Kubata. He was impressed with your tournament battles. Okay, so he's looking to debut, so you're putting him up against the inaugural champion, huh? Does that mean he wants to join the Kabaki school? Mm. <laughs> well, he is a reserved man. He feels unworthy of joining us, but he still wishes to fight you before his Coliseum debut. What? Okay, so he doesn't earn the right to face me, Kabaki? Okay, if, he, if he's unworthy of joining us, but he still wants to fight me, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it too. So not only did he refuse to learn the Kamaki style, but now he's here to challenge and shame us. Uh, to be frank, I think he's looking down on you, old man. <laughs> oh ho ho ho! Challenge and shame us, you say? That had not yet occurred to me. I guess, uh, I never thought of it like that. But it makes for an interesting challenge. Kiryu, you you'd best not shame us as a Kamaki style student. Uh. Huh. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Your training ends if you defeat this man. So just do it. For goodness sake, do what I say. Alright, for the Kamaki's school reputation, I'll take this guy on. Don't let Isamu Kumada shame the Kamaki school. Show the heavyweight hero what your style can do. Alright, let's do it. Alright, well, you dare to challenge the Kamaki school? Watch the Kamaki sumo slap! Okay, well, that was simple enough. Happy now, old man? Prodigious. I'll teach you the Kamaki Dharma Tumbler. 
Gain extra distance during dashes with an evasive roll. Ooh. Dharma Tumblr, huh? So it matches the painting I brought. Do all the moves match these images? Forge oh, Just so. Have you finally realized my intentions? Oh! This Dharma Tumblr requires a lot of movement while also paying attention to your situation. Flexible decision making is important to any martial art. The decision whether to use the evade and strike move I taught you earlier or to use the Dharma Tumblr is key. I see, so now I've got options. It's up to you to decide how you want to use this move. See for yourself when you're using it in real combat. Uh. Oh, so that wasn't real combat. Got it. So what's the next picture? <laughs> oh, now you're interested after learning they're connected to the moves. Next, I need the image of four gods, so bring me the gods of cardinal directions from the arena. Already got that one too, so I guess I'm going to become a literal god. Not just one, but four of them. Man, three moves in one go. Oh, are these the actual four gods? Kiryu, this is the trial you'll be facing. Well, they, they don't look very titan-esque. These are skilled residents of Purgatory. You must defeat them within the time limit. Didn't I already fight a group like this? And their numbers seem even smaller this time around. <laughs> uh, this time I only gathered true warriors. If you fight as carelessly as before, you shall never pass this trial. <sighs> so that's how it is. Your training will be complete if you can defeat them in the allotted time span. Begin. What do I have, like 20 seconds? Let's find out. Four guys using only dragon style. This may be harder than I hope. Five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. We can do this. Never mind. They weren't easy. They weren't easy at all. Now I'm gonna need to hobble over to get some takoyaki or some shit. God damn it. No. Not now. I'm still looking for food. <laughs> I have to say, though, I don't think... Majima sipping into that fight I experienced here at West Shichifuku Street uh, was what I was looking for because I didn't unlock a, an ability once that was all done. So, there must be something else that I'm missing here. Still, I'd rather avoid a fight. Let's see if we can get to that supermarket and get a sushi set in our belly. It's the same freaking car. Even this woman was like, um. I'm gonna take a picture of this license plate, maybe send it to the police. <sighs> are you serious? You again? With the cock of the walk speech? Who are you? I can't remember. Even though you're the one who's supposed to have amnesia. Well, here he is. Slugger Majima. Whoa! I gotta say, there's something crazy about the super hyper version of Dragon Style, when your health is critical, and all your combos are super fast. Okay, that <laughs> took a while to finish up. Majima, forgot you got defeated, huh? Oh shit, this is bad. How'd it go this far? Shit, let's get out of here. I just came to- whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? We gotta go now! I just came here to see the, uh, old vending machine that I used to get a special magazine for a certain kid. Ah! And where I also trained with Bacchus, but that's neither here nor there. Huh? What was all that about? Mm -hmm. huh. Hey, are you okay? Uh, he doesn't look okay. Is he dead? He's dead. Those two must have mugged him, and then... He's clearly pretty beaten, and his wallet's gone. Oh, but they left his phone on him? I guess they panicked after they got the wallet and they found out he wasn't breathing. Oh, he's getting a call on the cell. The cell phone plan. Uh... I shouldn't, but I will. It's probably a friend calling. I need to let his loved ones know that this man was killed. <laughs> okay. We could leave that job to the police, but sure. It's me. That back alley is a no-go. I'll be in touch. Manny. What? Hold on a second. I already told you. No questions. Uh-oh. Don't tell me I have to pose as this person. He hung up on me. What was all that- what was that call even about? It's not that Simon Says guy, is it? Uh-oh. He's calling again, huh? Whoops, I must have accidentally brought that man's phone with me. How clumsy of me. <laughs> if anyone investigates and they find that I took this guy's phone, I'm gonna be set up for the murder. It's probably a friend calling. I need to let his loved ones know that this man was killed. I- I need to do this duty. There's a bar on the east side of the Millennium Tower. The one where the owner got murdered. You'll find a woman standing in front of that bar. Get a locker key from her. <sighs> this shady guy again? I hardly left the alley. Boy. 
Hey. Who are you? Who the hell are you? Don't make me say it again. No questions. You have your orders, now get to it. Damn, you hung up on me again. <clears throat> so I need to get a locker key from a lady standing in front of a bar near the Millennium Tower? Where is this taking me? I just want to see this guy's loved one so I can tell them what happened. Oh heck, since I'm in the neighborhood, let's Shimmy enter Shine like now that we can finally get in here. Hey. We struggled so, uh, ever since we got that email. So this is what it looks like. Very fancy. Certainly upgraded since the 80s. Hello there. But of course. I haven't done this for 10 years. <laughs> Can I have a glass of water? I have my sources. Please. So What do you need? Nanda. So how can I help you with this dilemma? He's not gonna get deported with you? Interesting. Ah, hmm. What happened to your Japanese father and his mistress? The forger. Heard of the florist? I guess you are looking for a passport, huh? <laughs> Sounds like you can forge a lot of things. その人がすごいのは裏の戸籍まで完全に作り上げてくれるって噂です。私、ここから外に出ると警察に見つかっちゃう。yeah, sounds interesting. Someone I'd love to be friends with. <laughs> Visiting all the clubs, meeting all the girls. Shinmei and Jewel. In all honesty, I've got a surplus of cash now. I could easily just buy an invite to Shangri-La. Looks like I can go in. That's a good start. Looking for someone. Oh, I can't go further in. Okay, sure, no problem. I guess uh, our Majima side quest is locked out. For now, unfortunate. Is that the woman the guy on the phone was talking about? This is the bar, Bantam. Uh, pretty sure it was Bacchus before the rebranding. Do we enter? No, we speak with her. Can I help you? I was told you'd have a key for me. And the password is? Nani. Uh, a password? That wasn't part of the instructions I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Loosen up a bit, huh? If you're this tense about getting a key, there's no way you'll be able to pull off the hit. The, the what now? A hit! Stop repeating everything I say, you fool. Just take the key and go. Coin locker key C1. You've got your key now. My job here is done. See you around. Maybe. Hey, hold on. 
Who are you, exactly? Are we the loved one of that guy in the alley? Who's kind of slumped over dead? Uh, I shouldn't say that while I'm pretending to be him. Damn it. Look, I was only told by the guy on the phone to give you the key. That's all I know, and that's how I want to keep it. Okay. See you around, then. Damn. Maybe if I open the locker, I'll be able to finally figure out what's going on here. Maybe he has a loved one stuffed inside. It's... a knife? Hmm? He's already calling. Uh oh, he's watching me. Did you retrieve the item from the locker? Uh. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with this knife? It used to belong to a certain member of a certain family. We're going to use it on the job to make it more... poetic. What job? Don't be ridiculous. The only jobs we ever contact you for are the ones that involve... erasures. As soon as I find out the target's location, I'll be in touch. Wouldn't you be suspicious then? <laughs> like, what's the job? Uh, you know we only call you to kill someone, so why are you asking questions now? Hey, hang on a second. Your voice sounds different. This is starting to sound dangerous. Hmm? Oh, he's calling again. <laughs> hey, it's me. I've got the target's location. Where are you now? In front of the theater. <laughs> How fortuitous. The target should be in your general vicinity. He's wearing a grey suit. About six feet tall. Real tough looking Yakuza guy. Wait, what? Right now he's talking on a cell phone. Has kind of a stupid look on his face. <laughs> Wait a minute! Who? I don't see anyone with that description at all. Make sure you use the dagger you found in the locker. Once the job's done, meet me at the batting cages. Good. Hold on. Are you telling me the target's name is... Yes, I have his name. Kazuma Kiryu. Uh, don't botch this. I'm heading to the batting cages now. Make contact soon. Seriously? The dead guy I found was hired to kill me? And this imbecile somehow thinks... <laughs> <laughs> Did he not, like... Has he not scouted around to see who else was talking on the phone? This is ridiculous, but if I want to get to the bottom of what's going on and find the truth, I need to stab myself. I better head to the batting cages, sorry. I mean, that's what I meant to think. Okay. Well, that's going well. The, uh, two journalists were just staring at me, my informants. Never mind, I'm walking away. You ever taken a phone call, or pretended to take a phone call? Just so you can switch directions, because you were going the wrong way in the first place? Your Kazuma kill you, right? No way! Why are you alive? I found the phone and you kept calling me on it. Dumbass. <laughs> Last thing you told me was to kill myself with a dagger. What? What's going on? I guess I got no choice. I'm going to silence you myself! Alright, mysterious man. What's up with the dagger? Why is it so important? Or poetic? Alright. Let's see who has the stupid look on his face after a worse hit done. There, I think I saw it. Thankfully I didn't blink. It only lasted a second, but it was worth it. What kind of monster are you? Spill it. Who sent you after me? I won't tell. I'm no stitch. Uh? Are you saying you'd rather die? Because you will. Not that I've ever killed anyone before. But, uh, someone did turn into Swiss cheese at a restaurant because I used him as a human shield. I didn't quite eat him, though. Ugh, all right, fine. I don't have all the details, but I was hired by someone inside the Tojo clan. He never gave me a name, but I know he's one of the officers. He must have some idea why the Tojo clan would be after you, right? Oh, yeah, you know, I just killed a patriarch. <clears throat> uh. But you've got to tell me. Where did you get that phone? Uh. I found it on a man who'd been killed by muggers. Guess he was unlucky. And you probably shouldn't have sent him after me, because if some two-bit thieves could kill him, there's no telling what I would have done to him. <laughs> so I see. But well, I'm not much better off. You mess up in this world, you may as well be dead. The clients probably already figured out the how they're going to silence me for good. Huh. Let me buy my freedom a little longer with this. Goddess of Children Amulet. I don't have any space. Uh, reduce the number of enemies crowding around you. All you have to do is let me go, and... Mm. Hmm? <laughs> Don't you let them kill you. You're too tough for that. Mm. Uh, oh, okay. Thank you. I was kind of considering it, but then you've changed my mind. So, what are you planning to do? I'm just going to run like the wind. 
I doubt I'll make it very far before I get caught, though. I see. I don't have anything else that would benefit you. So if you don't mind, I better go. I like how I'm just smiling, like, oh yeah, Look. this guy's dead. Hey, you forgot this. Cell phone. You return the dead man's cell phone. Right. Thanks for that. And good luck. Alright, adios, amigo. You're not running like the wind. Walking like a fart, more like. 5,000 experience points. I'll take it. Huh, I didn't realize I could read magazines here. Uh, interesting. PlayStation, what's that? Man, so the PS1 and PS2 would have come out while Kerry was in jail. The video game magazine focused only on the PlayStation, published by MediaWorks. They're known for their accurate, in-depth walkthroughs. It's Dengeki 4 Koma is popular, too. Huh. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Nani? <laughs> Majibasan, are you alright? <laughs> Damn it, Majibasan is waiting for me outside the store. He'll probably challenge me, so I better be prepared. Uh. Okay, jeez. I discover one thing new, and then all of a sudden Majibas there to freaking interrupt my fun. Alright, you lunatic. The hell's your problem? <laughs> Yo, Kiryu chan. What a coincidence. Stalking people is a bad habit to have, Majibasan. Can't have you. Can't you come talk to me in the store like a normal person? Uh -huh. What? And miss hearing your heart race as you worry about someone discovering you're reading them girly mags? I was reading a PlayStation one. I was wondering what that fan dangly device was. Like I'd read those magazines in public. But do it in private, maybe. Or in my jail cell. So you bought it? Good. I didn't buy it either. <sighs> oh, so you're window shopping the magazines. What a cheapskate. Yeah, I know. That's terrible of me. Are you here to buy something or just rasp? Uh. Of course I got business here. Convenience stores carry everything a man could want. Mm. And what is that exactly? <laughs> a fight with Kiryu-chan! I've been yearning to buy one. And I'm sure a convenience store like this would carry it. That doesn't make a bit of sense. Besides, I'm not selling fights to anyone. Least of all you. So if you'll excuse me. Hey, people of Kamurocho! Kiryu-chan here was just perusing a girly bag in a convenience store! Better steer clear! Huh? What? Hide your kids! Hide your, hide your wives! Ew, what a lewd man. Does he have no shame? Oh, that's so pervy. He'd probably try to cop a feel. Hey, man, you got some pent-up tension? I could take you to a place for fine girls and take care of that for you. I, I, I'm i already heading to a club to meet a girl named Jewel, right? Huh? What was that necessary? You're like a spoiled child. Huh? Were you on your way out? Go on, then. Or are you going to sell me that fight? Fine, then. But my fights don't come cheap. And I'm going to make sure you pay the tax. <laughs> I invented the tax. So back this fight up and put it in my tab, Gary chan Yeah, I know. You fucked up all that tax. During that sub story, Yuck is a zero. Oh god. He's breaker. Fantastic. Damn it. Freaking billboards flying at me. At least I think I figured out the uh random encounter on West Shichifuku Street. He wasn't hiding in a bar. He was hiding in a convenience store. Or outside. Well, he won't be loitering any longer. All right, Majima. <laughs> You're finished. Get out of here. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from cheapskate Kiryu-chan. He weren't previewing those mags for nothing, eh? Hey, you take that back. Just calling it like it is. But anyway, I'm feeling fine now, so I'll leave you to your perusing. I'm gonna take you to court for slander. Convenience stores really have gotten convenient these days, eh? To think I could even buy a fight with Kiryu-chan. Ugh. He's the one who made me sell him the fight. I guess I need to be aware that majima might be watching me do even the most mundane things. <laughs> He's everywhere. No, I don't think that was the thing on Wistuchi Fuku Street if I didn't unlock an ability. Damn it. What the hell? I swear there's something here. What about this guy? He's on the ground. Boy. Hey, what's the matter? You're Yakuza, aren't you? The Yakuza hater. Yeah. No, I may have the look, but I'm not Yakuza. Not anymore. Uh -huh. Shut up! I don't want to hear your lies. You came here to get in my way again, didn't you? Nani. Hold on. What? Not a chance, Yakuza. I'll kill you for trying to ruin me. Dude, I will probably snap you like a twig.
can't believe you had the moniker Menacing Man. Goodness me, that's totally embarrassing. Where your legs spread and you're on the ground. Yeah, cause a scum! If you're gonna kill me, just get it over with! Calm down. You're frantic. I don't know how to convince you, but I'm not Yakuza. Yeah? No. You're a liar! You're just like the rest of the- What would I gain out of lying to you? Besides, I don't even know what this business deal was. Oh. Sorry. Mm -hmm. What did they do to make you this afraid of them? Yeah. Well, you see, I had a new opportunity lined up, but it was ruined by those good-for-nothing Yakuza. It was a very important business deal that was going to put my career on the map. Thanks to those thugs, though, the negotiations were cut short. Interesting. But the Yakuza don't usually interfere with a business deal that, unless it's really lucrative. What happened? Yeah, last time they tried that, there was an empty lot at stake. Well, I guess they were interested in my company. Even asked for a partnership with me. Hell, if I didn't know any better, I might have fallen for that fake company name. Hmm. I want my business to be legitimate. That means not getting in bed with Yakuza. So I rejected their offer. I had to. Hmm. Now I'm seeing the picture. You're being targeted in retaliation because you wouldn't make a deal with them. Eh. Yes. Do you see why I despise the Yakuza then? Well, I can at least understand the situation. Good enough. Look, I know I was rude to you before, and I don't deserve the answer, but could you tell me your name? <laughs> I'm Kazuma Kiryu, the Dragon of Dojima. Uh. Don't sweat it. My name's Kiryu. Kiryu-san. Oh, got it. My name is Yoshioka. I'm really sorry for mistaking you for a Yakuza. <laughs> I'll admit. I was surprised when you rushed me. Oh. oh. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> well, look who we have here. If it isn't Yoshioka-san. I had a little deal go the other day. Uh, how dare you? Hmm? Yoshioka? Care to introduce us? It's them. The Yakuza who sabotaged my business deal with a bunch of nasty lies about me. God damn. You're still stuck on that Yakuza BS? Get it through your head. We are not Yakuza. Oh, really? What's that badge on your, uh... Lapel there. And sabotage? Please, give me a break. All I did was have a conversation with your friend that day. I mean, wouldn't you want to know if the person you were going into business with was a judgmental nut job? You gotta be wary of people who accuse civilians of being Yakuza. Oh, oh I'm sorry, we were talking about your little deal. I just decided to mimic your voice, I guess. So, it fell through, huh? Oh, that's too bad, Yoshioka. You intended for it to fail. You knew this would happen. <laughs> Whoops. Was that that obvious? Damn. Cat's out of the bag. You. Boy. Allow me, Yoshioka. Huh? Hey, guys. Mind giving me a moment of your time? What? You got a problem, big guy? Uh. Yep. I can't take down these four people at Purgatory. But also, you guys need to learn not to meddle in the affairs of other people without so much as a care about how it affects them. Oh, and you think you're going to teach us, boss? <laughs> You'd be surprised how convincing my fists can be. Also, my feet. Uh -huh. You have any idea who you're talking to? Here's a lesson for you. Underestimating me isn't very good for your health. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, you were saying? Ah, uh, you're too damn strong. You're gonna regret crossing me. Okay, <laughs> leaves his buddies. Oh no, never mind. They're slowly getting to their feet. <laughs> and then suddenly, instantly rise up. That guy was a lot of hot air, but I don't know if he was Yakuza after all. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Oh, he dropped the business card. President's business card. It's not another real estate firm, is it? Curious sad. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you here. Uh. Hmm? Don't sweat it. <sighs> I feel terrible, though. I judged you on your looks and then attacked you for it. Yet you still lent me a hand. Hmm. We're fine. I think I'll lose any sleep over. But you should probably know that guy wasn't Yakuza. Eh? What do you mean? Here, see for yourself. Looks like he's just a guy with a real mouth on him, but a real business to go with it. No way. I gotta be wrong about him, too might not mean much coming from me, but you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I understand, Kiryu-san. I'll try to do better. Take this as my apology, or, well, a thank you present. Whatever you want to accept it as, it doesn't matter. Just take it. Just don't judge it, okay? 
I got a red jewel. Ooh. Oh, no, that's okay. But I'll put it in my pocket. <laughs> Please, I insist. I need to thank you somehow. <clears throat> if you must. From now on, no more judging books by their covers. You showed me that people's actions are what really matter. I guess if you really read between the lines, what happened here today was all my fault. Huh. That's already some good progress, then. All right, Kiryu-san. Tomorrow's gonna be a new chapter for my business and a new chapter for me. I have a long way to go, but we can only turn one page at a time, right? As long as it's not chapter 11, my friend. <laughs> wow. You really went all in on the book metaphors. Maybe I'm just reading into it too much. Heh. <laughs> Heh. Oh, God, I'm good. All right, let's try this again. It's unfortunate we're stuck with Dragon Style, and these guys like to pile it on, and my health's not full to boot. Okay, one down. What I've learned is I need to take advantage of the fact that I have increased speed when I have critical health, and I need to use my evasive quick stick. Like so, to get out of trouble. When things get too heated. Okay, two to go, we can do this. Don't have a lot of health either. Ugh. Okay. Phew. I tell you, it was a balancing act having to keep my health at critical levels without allowing it to go too far down where I wouldn't be able to quickly eat a sushi box in time. Astounding! Now I'll teach you the Kabaki Fist Reversal. The heat action that punishes enemies from all directions, like the four heavenly gods, it changes based on direction, it can be activated when attacked by an enemy. Since the opportunity now presents itself, do you wish to try out the Kabaki Fist Reversal in the same situation? Sure, why not? Uh. Okay, sure. Very well. So try it out. Yeah, I didn't get to test it out. Of course I didn't get to test it out. Okay, well, shit. Time to hit the Colosseum again. Uh, for more Kabaki training. 